Yes, I have the distinction of being the, the last baby born at Corrindurk in my grandmother's house. Uh, my mother had to get permission for me to be born there, of course. From uh, uh, From, I'm not really sure who that was, but uh, I noticed she has told me on various occasions that, that she had to get permission for me to be born there. And uh, I think I was, I have to say, I'm very privileged and proud to be the last person born there. And that was back in 1933. That was some nine years after the camp was closed down, or the mission station. And uh, yes, and then I lived there t till the right old age of two, two, I think it was, two years of age. And then we were, Dad brought us all into Hills, or oh, myself and Mum, and uh, the rest of us, and there was ten of us, we were all born in Hillsville. And we're still, most of us are still residing in Hillsville. What you've got here in uh, in uh, in this area, when when Corin Dirk was going, uh, it was more or less well, in hard terms, like a call to prison. Uh, it wasn't you weren't allowed any freedom. If you wanted to uh, say come in and do some and get some groceries, things like that, come in and get a haircut, say anything, uh, you had to get permission. You had to get permission to do everything. I mean, I can't really believe this happened because you had to ask to come in to, come in to shop or, you know, you just, you just couldn't do what you wanted to do. Yeah, the camp at Corin Dirk was closed down. It was closed down in the years 1923-24 and everybody was sort of uh, shuttered or shuffled down to like tyres. So it was more or less non-existent. Well, it went into uh, the position of Noan Ghetto, or head man and... Uh, in case a lot of people know what we're talking about. Uh, we are referred to as headmen, not like the uh, Indians do with their chieftains and all that.